I'm Erin and this is Danny and the littlest member of our family river. We are making our way around Australia with our home and tow. Subscribe to follow along and keep up to date with our adventures. Welcome back guys, so we're in Bremer Bay today. We got here this afternoon. Um, it's actually quite hard to find a spot in these caravan parks here because they're all so busy. We got this one at 70 bucks a night. Pretty expensive, but it is a really big site. So we've got plenty of space for the van and car park beside it and everything. So we're going to go explore the area this afternoon and then we're only here for a couple of days, so make the most of it. Man, how nice does that look? Amazing. Wow, look at that watercolour. Looks so good. How nice is this? The sand is like so white. And that aqua colour against it looks beautiful, eh? What are they expecting this? How nice is it? I feel like it might be a good spot to go for a fish along here if you look. There's like a bit of a gutter in here and there's like a reef just on the other side of it, so through here. I reckon chucking some lures in there would be pretty good. Might give that a go later. Tell you what, Prime Bay is certainly impressing me so far. Got up this morning and the weather was like terrible and we we're like, oh, I don't know, it's gonna be a very nice day today. Drove down here, put up the caravan park, the clouds just appeared. Yeah, look at this. Stoked. Almost just picked up a nice fish. That's solid, that thing. A bit overcast this morning but we've come down to Blossoms Beach. It's a pretty short beach so it's not very long but you can drive your car down here and pull up which is nice. Love a bit of a fish I think considering it's not super nice for swimming today because it's very overcast. A little bit chilly actually. So I went and had a bit of a fish, but it's a shallow for a long way out and I don't really have a surf rod. I've only got my little spin rod, so it's hard to get out far enough. So what I'm gonna do is go over to that beach over there. See there's a few cars over there. And I feel like it might be, be able to get a bit deeper, a bit easier over there. So we'll drive over there and check that place out. I think it's called Little Boat Harbor Beach.
So about 700 meters away from Blossoms Beach is this little lookout you can come to. This is called Native Dog Beach. So something, the reason they call it Native Dog Beach is because it used to be like a area a lot of dingoes used to come. I think they would hunt them. Really nice beach though. It's a very popular surf beach here. So a lot of people come down here to go surfing. As you can see why. Fair bit of surf there. You have arrived. So this is Little Boat Harbour Bay. There's a little car park up here and some people seem to drive down on the beach here too and launch their boat. It's fairly calm in this part of the bay, which is nice. You can see a couple of cars up there, their boat trailer is on. Basically they can just reverse in there and launch their boat out there, which is cool. So I've decided to come here because you can see there's some few rocks over there. That's no, not too rough out there, so I might be able to walk out in the end there and cast some lures out, hopefully. It's supposed to be quite good here for snorkeling too, so if we had a nice sunny day we'd probably chuck a snorkel and go out, but I'm hoping this afternoon it clears up and it's a lot nicer. No luck, didn't get any fish. Still a very nice morning though, just chilling out, eh? Yeah, it's so nice. Nice just hanging out on the beach and just relax for a bit and have a bit of a fish and river plays. It's quite good. So we just had a bit of lunch back at the caravan here in the caravan park. Yeah, look at that, the sun looks like it's coming out a bit. So we're going to go down to, back down to the same beach we were at yesterday and we're going to have a bit of a swim and a snorkel. Oh, so we've come back down to Short Beach. How could you not come back to this beach? We had to. It was beautiful. Came here yesterday afternoon and so nice. So come back down here for sure. Beautiful, it's a little bit chilly, but it's really refreshing. <laughs> There's a few bigger fish out there, so some decent ones. Not bad. Well, that was a super nice afternoon swim. I think we're going to go back to and get some firewood and have a bit of a fire tonight. So that'd be beautiful sitting around the fire. That'd be an amazing end to our time in Bremer Bay. So I've literally taken this fire pit all the way around Australia. It's only the second time we've used it. It weighs like 25 kilos, it's like 5 millimeter thick steel, steel plate, so super heavy, but they are good when you actually use them. I think the reason we haven't used it much is because it's been so hot, like most of the time we've had beautiful hot weather all around the northern end of Australia, coming down the side. Now we've got down to here, it's actually starting to cool down a bit, so like it would actually be quite nice in the afternoon with the fire going. So we're going to pull that out. Um, you know, firewood's kind of expensive too, I guess, like, you know, it's like $18 a bag, so if you do it every night, it can be pretty expensive. I mean. So it's good on occasion though. So I got me Taj Mahal of sticks all ready to go for the fire. She's smoking. Pumping some heat out now. So good, and a nice cool afternoon. So we just turned up in Esperance today. All the caravan parks are full, so we have to go in the overflow. So basically the council puts on like a big area, like usually beside showgrounds or whatever. 
this is like a big um, sports precinct type place. So we're just basically parked up in a, you know, like a car park type area. But it's, it's fine, plenty of space and... Sorry, I think it's like 35 a night for the two of us. Um, yeah. There's toilets and showers, which I just went and had a look at. They're not too bad, so yeah. it's all good. Yeah. At least we get to stay somewhere. So. That's it, we least get somewhere <laughs> to stay. So, so we're going to go check out the Pier Hotel. Looks like they've got some decent food on the menu, so go have dinner there tonight. And then tomorrow morning we'll go check out some of the beach or something like that. So we're down at the Pier Hotel, come here to get a feed. Straight across on the Esplanade here. Out there you can see like there's a big jetty with like a pier and um, containers getting loaded up over there. So gives it a bit of an industrial feel this town. So we were going to go to the Pier Hotel. We've just spotted this little place down the road there, you can see. Called 33 Degrees. We're going to go check that place out. It's looking might be a bit nicer, you can sit up the top there, have a look at the uh, water. What do you want for dinner? Juice and fish and chips. Yeah? Okay. Doesn't want to eat his salad, so I'll see mum's got to eat the salad. <laughs> Pretty usual. Yeah, standard kid. Decent sized bit of fish for him though. Hey mate. So we got pan fried groper. Presentation looks pretty good. Well, it does look a bit small, but we'll see how it goes. We're heading into the Cape Le Grand National Park today. It's like a 40 minute drive out of um, Esperance. Beautiful drive on the way here. Such a nice drive. It's like landscape is just awesome around here. Some really nice properties out here. It'd be nice to own some of these. Eh? The view is amazing. We're going to check out some of the beaches here. Apparently they've got some really nice beaches so we're going to hang out there this morning. Luckily we've got some pretty good weather today. Hopefully it stays this way. It said it was going to be overcast but the sun's actually out so hopefully it stays out. Yeah. The first place you come to is called Hellfire Bay. Check this out, how good does it look? Beautiful. Damn. Again with the, like, the beautiful white sand and the beautiful aqua blue water. Can't beat these beaches down here, they look so nice. This is magic. What a nice day it is today. Beautiful.
So stop number two, we're going to have a look at this place called Whistling Rock. How's this rock? It's just hanging out of nowhere. Went straight up. Got a nice little look out here you can check out. If you look at it from this angle, you can see it's just like, I think the wind comes in and hits it and runs down the front of it like that. It spins around, makes this like interesting sound. So all the national parks in uh, WA are pretty much the same price. So they all have like a ticket gate booth when you go through the entry. So they're about $15 a day or you can pay five days for $25. I think there's also like a six month pass as well, or a year pass. But yeah, well worth it, like all of them has been really nice so far. Especially this place, it's beautiful, eh? So I mean, like, even the drive through is just amazing. Another absolutely stunning bay. Absolutely beautiful. How is the view? Bloody amazing. So now we're on to the last stop of the day, which is going to be Lucky Bay. Another beautiful beach, I'd say. We're going to have some lunch there, chill out for a bit, and then probably head back to the town, Esperance. Clearly Lucky Bay is the popular option today. Look how many cars are down on the beach. I think this spot will do for the afternoon. Super busy down here today. As you can see there's cars everywhere, but not bad. Not a bad little spot to hang out. Running low on food, so it's a bowl of rice bubbles each. Uh -huh. <laughs> but beautiful spot for lunch, hey! Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe if you liked this one. So, next week we have something a little bit different and pretty exciting planned, so you definitely don't want to miss that one.